So I guess we can file this one under the, uh, the More You Know series of videos and content here on the channel. This goes along with the uh, Ranger video we did a few months back showing you uh, sort of like a surprising feature of that 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine in the Ranger. This is a 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine in an F-150 and just like the Ranger, if you look over here behind this massive SMB intake, you've got a little EGR cooler on this thing. Starting to see this more and more on uh, gasoline engines, especially these EcoBoost engines that tend to run a little bit dirtier than like a port injected engine. Uh, this thing has to have an EGR cooler, an EGR system to clean it up. So you can't run just a regular EGR system like uh, say the old 4.6 liter two valve engines. Uh, you have to have a cooler on it because uh, the exhaust gases are so hot on these turbocharged engines. Um, you gotta cool them off a little bit before you stick them back in that plastic intake manifold. But that is something uh, we're starting to see more and more of. And it's just sort of interesting that on a smaller 2.7 liter EcoBoost engine, you have to have a, a liquid cooled EGR system in order to meet emissions. But on the Super Duties with a massive 7.3 liter V8 with just port injection, it's clean enough because of its weight rating that you don't need all of this stuff in order to meet emissions. I mean, look here, we've got one, two, three, four sensors. Actually, that's independent of the EGR system, it looks like. Oh, nope, it's tied in there too. So at least four sensors, all the cooling system, uh, hoses and stuff running to it. I mean, this is not an uncomplicated system here. Of course, you got the control valve controlling how much gases are returned to the intake manifold here. But that is uh, just something you guys deciding whether you want a EcoBoost or a, uh, a V8, something to look out for. They're putting diesel-like EGR coolers on all this stuff. And uh, if you remember what kind of debacles Ford had in the past with the 6 liter and 6.4 liter power stroke, which this looks like just a miniaturized version of that same exact cooler. If you remember all the stuff they went through with that, not 100% sure that I'd want one. But I do love this little 2.7 liter engine. Thing makes fantastic horsepower. And uh, this is, of course, the same truck that we posted earlier on the channel that uh, for sale at Capital Ford of Rocky Mount and tuned by five star tuning with a ton of other goody go fast parts making very, very conservative 450 horsepower to the wheels. Uh, I'll link that video in the description below. And I'll also put a link to the, uh, the Ranger video and article we did on it talking about its EGR cooler. So if you guys want to check that out, I would really appreciate it. There's always some fun stuff on the channel. And there's a nice new 2020 Super Duty. Again, another 7.3 liter truck. A ton of these things walk running around and that one has dealer tags on it coming in for some five-star tuning. But definitely check out some of the other videos on the channel, guys. Thanks.